Hi everyone, I am Neha from Mathematically Inclined and today we are beginning with part 5 of Continuity. Well, if you haven't seen the previous four parts, then you will find the link in the description box below. You will also find the links to the playlist of other chapters which are already on my channel in the description box. Please note all these videos have been crafted not only to suit your CBSE needs, but to give you a head start for competitive exams as well. So, let's get started. Today, we are going to discuss that the composition of two continuous functions is again a continuous function. Now, before we begin with this, in case you do not know about composition of two functions, please check out the short video on composition of functions which I'll be linking at the end of this video. To apply the above mentioned results, please have a look at the first question. It says discuss the continuity of the function sine mod x. Now how would you identify that to which questions we need to apply this result? The given function would always be a mixture of two functions which cannot be directly defined. For instance, your sine mod x has been made out of two functions, sine x and mod x. The composition for these has been taken to create your initial function. So from our previous video, you would see sine x being a trigonometric function is everywhere continuous and so is modulus of x. Now in order to create the composition, We'll take the function f of g, which is f of mod x, which is sine of mod x. We would say according to the given result that since fx and gx are already continuous, therefore their composition, which gives us sine mod x, is continuous as well. Please note in case it's a 1 or a 2 marker, this kind of a proof is sufficient. However, for a 4 or a 6 marker, you would also have to show the proof for sine x and mod x being continuous everywhere. The second question is again very similar. Once again, if I split the existing function into 2, cos x and let gx be x squared. Once again, cos x being a trigonometric function is continuous everywhere and likewise x square comes under the category of a polynomial function which is continuous everywhere. Therefore, the composition f of gx by which we mean f of x square which gives us cos of x square is also continuous. Now for the third function here, you have to show that this function is continuous everywhere. So, let's first try to split this function into two. So, this would give us, let's say the first function be 1 minus x plus mod x. And uh, let's say the second function be gx which is mod x. Now, once again from your previous video, you can see 1 minus x is a polynomial function which is which is continuous everywhere and modulus is once again continuous everywhere. Therefore, their sum would be continuous everywhere. Therefore, hx is continuous. Moving on, once again, gx which is mod of x is continuous everywhere. Please note g of hx gives us g of we substitute hx and then you know gx is mod of x therefore this is the output which is your function fx and thus will be continuous everywhere. Now for the fourth question you are already given that fx is this function and you have to find the points of discontinuity of the composition of the function f of fx. So first of all, fx is given by 1 upon x minus 1, which is not defined at x equal to 1. Thus, 1 becomes the point of discontinuity automatically. Write f of f of x. This means f of 1 upon x minus 1, which gives us 1 upon x minus 1. On simplifying this, Please note here, this one acts as your x. So when we substitute it here, f of capital X will give us 
1 upon capital X minus 1, which is this. I'm taking the LCM. This is the function which we end up getting. Merely by having a look at this new function, you know that it's not defined at x equal to 2. Thus, 2 becomes the second point of its discontinuity. But still to be doubly sure, you take limit x tending to 2 minus of f of fx, which would be limit h tending to 0, 2 minus h minus 1 upon 2 minus 2 minus h. On substituting the value for h as 0, you end up getting get this tends to infinity. Similarly, for limit x tending to 2 plus, we take limit h tending to 0, 2 plus h minus 1 upon 2 minus 2 plus h, which tends towards minus infinity. Both of them are not defined. Therefore, the function f of fx is discontinuous at 2. Now, to conclude our question, we would say f of fx is discontinuous at x equal to 1 as well as 2. So, this is the end of continuity. I hope all the concepts made sense. Please keep practicing. And also, if you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up share it and take a moment to subscribe right now. Also leave your comments because they are valuable. Bye-bye.